Hello, my name is Ted Alexander. I'm an aspiring photographer, and I would love to take you all on an adventure on this first video that I'm putting out to a place called Huntley Meadows, which is a beautiful um, park here in Virginia, which has loads of wildlife and great landscapes. Though, I really would love to go to this place when it snows, but we haven't had a substantial amount of snow lately. Um, and unfortunately, I don't have a car. <laughs> So I'm completely reliant on um, public transportation here in the DC area. So metro and public uh, like bus services. Um, so this is also kind of a challenge for me, but also to show others that you can still take great photos and not have a vehicle and live within a city. It is entirely possible. One of my goals for this channel is to show you places up around Baltimore. Um, there's a park up there that is absolutely beautiful. There's lots of tra trails around the um, lake that's up there. And that's one of the videos I'm planning on doing. I'm not sure when I'm gonna do that, but I am certainly gonna do it. Anyway, back to Huntley Meadows. Um, I guess I'll start in the morning. And most of these will be kind of voiceovers because I'm very shy when it comes to speaking to a camera in public. <laughs> And unfortunately, living in a city area and going to a very popular park, um, it is not going to be in my favor to speak to the camera <laughs> in public. So I'll do my best during the voiceover, as well as take video while I'm out um, at Huntley Park, to explain what I'm doing so that you can see what's going on, what I'm taking pictures of, how I'm composing the picture, and my reasoning for, for taking a shot and why I like it. And with that, I will see you all tomorrow morning. This is Huntley Meadows, the wildlife sanctuary in Northern Virginia with loads of photo opportunities, but of course, with the right conditions. Today we had some overcast, but there still was some harsh sun, so I had to work with it. So this is the first subject I wanted to get. I really wanted to get the textures of the bubbles and them kind of surrounding those clover-like plants, which is really interesting to me. And I wish I was able to get a photo of the tadpoles in the background, but they blend so well into the background that it was almost impossible to even see them on the camera. You could see them move, but once they settle down, you couldn't see them at all. The bubbles were my main focus, as well as having kind of like a side subject. As you can see here on the camera, it looks great. I really like how it looks, and plus I'm using a polarizer to reduce those reflections. As you can see, the shot looks great. However, <laughs> the boardwalk was moving because there were so many people there that it caused my camera to shake and I didn't get a good sharp image, unfortunately. I was very disappointed when I saw this when I got home. However, I was about to stumble upon something that I've been wanting to see for a very long time and I was not expecting to see it so close to the boardwalk. In just a sec, you'll see the photo of what I'm talking about. I think you're gonna like it too. Oh my god. And 
This is a beautiful northern pintail. It's a species of duck that's actually fairly common in the area, but to be so close to the boardwalk is just absolutely mind-blowing to me. It's such a beautiful bird, and I'm so lucky, as well as everyone else that was there, to see it so up close in that beautiful blue stripe on its beak. There's actually two stripes on the left and right side of its beak, and that nice black stripe down the middle. And of course, that beautiful dark bronze, or almost copper, color of its head. And the reason this bird is called a pintail is because it has a very long, thin tail feather that comes to a very sharp point. Of course, it's not actually sharp because it's a feather, but it looks like a pin, like a sewing pin, almost. Gives it that name of pintail. Though I must admit, an error of myself, I did not up my shutter speed enough, so this picture is a bit blurry. I have to nitpick my own photos, of course, but this is good practice for me to let myself know, hey, when you're taking photos of birds, like I've done in the past, I need to up my shutter speed. And this is a learning lesson for me, this is a learning lesson for you who's watching. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I certainly did, and I had quite an unex unexpected day with that northern pintail. Um, I was completely unprepared for that, <laughs> clearly, my, with my shutter speed. Um, but I'm more than happy to share my mistakes with you all and hopefully maybe you can learn from my mistakes and of course I will learn from my own mistakes to not make the same mistakes in the future. I wonder how many times I can say mistakes in the end of this video. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you have a great day. I certainly did and be sure to stay creative and capture what you see outside.